You are now tuned in to the Mark, Mark After Dark. Dark. Mark After Dark Season 2. Man, I feel like it's been a, such a long time. And um, clap for myself. And of course, you know, I felt like I had to add a nice co-host to the mix because she, she got so much praise and love from Season 1 that welcome Chelsea Nate to Mark After Dark. Hello, everybody. It's an honor to be here, literally. It's an honor. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Um, and we have a very special guest. Mm-hmm. Mr. EJ is here. Welcome, EJ, to Lamar at the Dark. Yes, so, how's everybody doing? Before, before we even start, how are you guys mentally? I feel like that's important to start with. Yeah, that is important. Mm-hmm. But, um, good, good. What about you? I'm feeling good mentally. I feel like today was a smooth day. I don't feel overwhelmed. I don't feel any sense of anxiety. So, I'm good. I'm that's really, good. I'm mm-hmm. really casual. I'm small. And what about you? I'm all right. You know, I'm hanging in there. I feel like I've been having some ups and down days, if I'm being honest. But we all do. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, that's just life. And I feel like we, um, you know, being in our 20s is rough. It is. And um, it's not talked about enough. And <laughs> <laughs> I really just hope that, uh, you know, it gets better. But EJ, it's all about you. This title episode is called OnlyFans, and we finally have an OnlyFans person up here. So, bing bong. Big up. <laughs> um, Big up. So, what made you want to start OnlyFans? Um, I didn't really want to start nothing. I just posted um, a picture, a video, and you know, it took off. What made you want to post that video? Um, we all be horny. So <laughs> it it just happened, you know. It just happened, and yeah. Now your OnlyFans is, is mostly is it just mostly just kind of fellatio or is it like a, a, no, a variety it's, of everything? It's everything, but I want people to subscribe mm-hmm. to see the other stuff. You feel me? So yeah. Okay. It's everything. Fucking threesomes. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. <sighs> okay, and what's your sign? Taurus. And what sign do you hate the most? Yeah. What sign do I hate the most? Um damn. let's see. Oh. I think. Pisces. Oh, why? I never Water heard. sign. Here we go. Chelsea, okay. don't start. <laughs> Sorry, baby. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. That's just, just the first thing that came. Okay. Mind. Yeah. Is it due to experience or just you feel like every every Pisces you meet, they just there's certain traits you just okay. So I gotta be honest. Y'all. Okay. I don't really know about signs like that. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. I want to get into that though. Like. But I don't feel like you should just judge somebody. Oh, I'm a Taurus. Now you're judging me. Oh, yeah. You know? Absolutely not. I don't think it's indicative 100% of who somebody is. Mm-hmm. But it does give you little tidbits into what you may expect mm-hmm. from their personality. That's I think it's fun banter. Do you think it's the difference between May or April? Like April, May, Absolutely, Taurus, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And it also depends on, you know, the day you were born. Are you a cusp baby? Because mm-hmm. if you're on the cusp of a sign, you might have both traits of the sign from the, mm-hmm. literally from the zodiac before yours. Definitely want to know how, when did you start your OnlyFans page? Okay. How long have you been doing this? Um, For three years. Oh, okay. Like pandemic, 2020. Mm-hmm. But I already was already doing it, you know. I hate people who talk down to OnlyFans until the pandemic came and then now everybody wanted to create it. But yeah, I started like late to 2019 and 2020. Okay, yeah. got you. And what do you feel like? Do you feel like it's grown more successful <clears throat> for you or do you feel like it's kind of stagnant right now? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's definitely like it's at its best right now. At its best. Okay, yeah. perfect. And what do you, are there any elements that you're looking to add to your... <clears throat> you know what people subscribe for or are you good with the brand that you've created so far i'm good with what i created so far okay. but i feel like i'm almost done and i feel like i want to put people on mm. like mm. i want to promote like people don't understand like i people i tell them give me 25 dollars. i'll promote you i retweet your stuff i retweet it they do numbers people love my promotion but i want to actually be able to if somebody wants to do it, I want to put them on, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Oh, that's do you feel like kind of OnlyFans interferes with like your love life though? Um, not really, cause um, I plan on being single for, like for 
Oh, why oh, is well, that? Yeah, just just because like I I also got my heart broken, um, 2019. That's probably another reason why I posted mm-hmm. what I posted, and that's why it took off. But I didn't expect it to take off. I just broke up my boyfriend, and then I was mad and horny. Mm. Yeah, and I posted the video, and it went crazy. And I kept doing that. I didn't make an OnlyFans, and then um, it was ten thousand followers on Twitter. Shout out to Twitter. Twitter's my everything. I saw your following. I fuck with Twitter. Yeah, your following is, um, is very rightfully so though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it didn't happen overnight. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. People think like you can't do that. You got to build it. You got to build. It. You got to yeah. interact with your followers. You gotta, you gotta build that. You gotta build that. So. That's so how it. do you get like clientele? Like how does that go? What? Like clientele? How does that go? What's that? When you like moving like with somebody new, like how do you guys collab together? Like how did you reach out to them? They reach out to you. Oh yeah. People reach out to me, and if they have enough followers. I'll do it. You don't even gotta have a lot of followers, to be honest. You just gotta look real good. Okay. Right. And yeah, yeah. I just started doing collabs a lot this year because mm-hmm. I felt like I needed to. I felt like okay, I'm doing too many videos with the street guys who put mm-hmm. masks on, they hide their face. But now I'm like, I want to do videos with somebody who you know they're out there. They're not scared. Right. Stuff like I was gonna even ask you that because you no, know, your face is shown. A lot of people do not show their face. Was that something that you were kind of scared about doing when you first started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was scared of, but I told my family. I told my mother. Like, how did that go? How did that go? That conversation my, go. Um, my family's mad cool, so it was like, do what you want to do. You feel me? Like, so that's what it was. I don't have a big family. I have like just my mother's side, and so she. She supports whatever I do, so mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, so speaking on supporting what you do, what are things that you love to do outside of this? Like, who yeah. is EJ? Um, I love concerts. I love okay. festivals. I love rap, hip hop. I love music. I feel like if I didn't do what I was doing, I would be in the music industry, like mm-hmm. a producer. Okay, some something like that. But yeah, Have you I like heard? movies. I like. Going out to the movies, I like clubbing with my friends, stuff like that. Okay. Have you considered tapping into other passions as you as you're growing successful in this, you know, this genre over here? Yeah. What about, you know, making EJ happy mm-hmm. outside of that? Yeah, I thought about that. Okay. Are is it are you gonna go for it? Or do you feel like right now you're just tapped in and you really don't have the time to focus on other things? Right now I'm just tapped in. Okay. Um yeah. I got like two more questions about OnlyFans, and then we can kind of like wrap, wrap that up. Okay, I, I don't mind though. I don't. Mind. Okay. Okay. So, favorite and I guess least favorite scene and why? Um, if you want to mention their names, you absolutely can. No, I am okay. Okay. What are you on the table? Um, I like doing a video. I like doing collabs with um some guy named Timothy Champagne. He's some white guy. He's mad cool. It never feels forced. We work real fast, get the video done the same day, edit it, post it the same day. Like we get it out of there. We work well together. My least favorite is probably like a nobody with like no followers. Mm. He acted funny afterwards, or that. I don't really know his name. That's how bad it was. Mm. But yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I got oh yeah. Mm. I don't even know if you don't remember their name. Because I like I have a freak Twitter, but I feel like I've never like collabed with anyone. You but do? it's yeah. You do? Yeah. But I, I kind of just made it just because I was like like the pandemic. Like I was just like, you know, see what was going on. Yeah. Ooh, wait, Chelsea, what did you say? <laughs> I said I didn't want to say nothing. No, I thought about too? that too. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. I don't have one. I don't. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it though. No, I'm, I don't. Da- I'm, I'm, be out here too. No, absolutely. Oh, be out here listen. Too. There's no way you can scroll down your timeline in 2023 right. and not see some form of content. Everybody's mm-hmm. out here doing their thing, get getting their money. I re- totally respect that, and it's yeah. a lot of guts. To but do look, that. it's also not about money to me because, like I said, I started just posting. You know, mm-hmm. I'm also I'm very sexual, um, and I love being nasty. I love doing all that. So. It's really not nothing like the money's cool. Like the money started like tripling and coming in, but I'm just sexual. I feel like people do come in just for the money. And it's like you could tell when it's forced, you could mm-hmm. tell when people have a connection in the videos and all that. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I feel like that's why people um like my videos because I do it with passion, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, you do. I do it with passion. You do. Do you feel like you've helped other people? become more accepting of their sexuality oh, and their passion inside. Yeah, because yeah, I, I say that, but then people I'll be having haters in my thing, like, oh, 
no, you didn't you didn't inspire nobody, blah blah blah. But I literally have straight guys DM me every day. They're like, yo, you make me want to suck a dick. Ooh. You teach me how to do this, you teach me how to do that. Straight guys, mm-hmm. gay guys, it don't matter what it is, black, right. white, green. Green. Everybody's <laughs> just hitting me up. Like they're just like, yo, like your videos do it for me. Like, no, no, that's right. It makes, <laughs> it makes me want to do it. So I'm like, damn, because I don't, yeah, I just I grab my phone, mm-hmm. see what video I'm like, oh, this is good. Post it and log off and go about my day. Come back to it, a thousand retweets. I'm like, damn, they really fuck with me. You feel mm-hmm. me? Right. I don't really think nothing of it too hard, but yeah. Well, that kind of leads into question of the night, which is, do you feel like sex work should be respected as a regular nine to five? Um, yes, because nobody really knows the work that um, um, sex workers put in, you know? It's a lot. I don't do, like, um, escorting or none of that stuff, mm-hmm. but that's also. But, yeah, it's a lot of hours of editing. It's just a lot. It's, it's a job. Yeah. It's a job. It's definitely it's a job. A I definitely feel like it should be, you know, respected. I definitely it's a job. My only issue, like, just talking, like, Everybody just thinks they could do it. I was just like, no, you cannot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's how I feel about with the mic. Like, <laughs> just because you have a phone doesn't mean you could do what mm-hmm. we do. You feel me? What do you think are some traits that would make somebody, you know, really solid that would be able to survive and do as well as you in this game? So if there was somebody that wanted to start doing what you do, mm-hmm. what advice would you give them? What would make them stand out versus somebody um, else? Just be consistent, mm-hmm. interact, you know. Even if you get one message, interact with that person. Like, what do you like about my videos? I used to do that. I used to do polls. That's a lot. It's a lot. And also, look at big pages and ask them for a retweet. If they say $10, give them that $10. It's invest. You know, it's invest. You're going to, you know. No, but do you feel like sometimes it can be a little clickish? Like, but especially with people have with big followers feeling like, well, you know, I feel like I'm better than thou kind of attitude. Who? Cool. Oh, I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> but I, yeah, off camera, I, I'll tell you. Okay, well, um, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I can't relate to the people who think that they're better because you're not mm-hmm. better than nobody. Right. So I just can't relate to that. I I just can't relate to that. I, I try to help everybody. I don't give a... I don't care if the person has one follower. If you try to really be serious, you try to be in it, yeah. I'll help you. I'll help you. That's just like I like that. Right. It's like a good that. vibe. Have you ever been recognized out in public? Like, has anybody ever came up to you and been like, oh, my God, yeah. you're on my timeline? Oh, you <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how do you feel when that happens to you? Can I smoke my vape, y'all? That's fine. Um, yeah. I, don't, I don't mind it, but I had a few people, like, try to touch me and stuff. I don't like mm. that. Yeah, that's, that's it's, it's, it's giving sexual Why harassment. Why are you my ass? Why are you trying to grab right. my crotch? Yeah. But the people who come up to me and be like, um, keep doing what you do. I support your videos. I love it. Can we take a picture? And they be like, can we take a picture? I'd be like, damn. But, <laughs> yeah. you know, um, I've been doing this for a long time. So mm-hmm. it's like, it's you know, I, I got to deal with it. So, yeah, I like it. It's cool. Okay. All right. Good to know. Chelsea, what do you feel about I feel like it bothers, the 9 to 5? Oh. Do you feel like, I'm sorry. No, I feel, like, I feel like it bothers my friends and my family who's around me. And they see that. I'll be like, don't mind it, y'all. But, yeah. That's just what mm-hmm. comes with it. Yeah, having to feel like you're really protective too, because and I'm also mm-hmm. I'm not really being aggressive right now, but I'm aggressive. Um, all that and pe- I'm not really what's it called approachable. But then when people come up to me, they're like, "Oh, you're actually cool as fuck." And I'm like, "Yeah, like I don't take life serious. I don't. I don't take life serious. Life is short, right? And just do what you do." Mm-hmm. Oh, I dig that. That's very accepting. The market were asking something. Yeah, before. so I don't think you answer like the nine to five, like your respect as mm-hmm. far as like do I you do feel think like it should be respected as a nine to five because it's like you said, it is a lot of work that goes into that. It's a yeah. lot of work on the personal and keeping up with yourself. It's right. a lot of work of making the collaborations, the filming, the editing. Say you don't like how a scene came out, you might have to Spend redo it. it. Spread everybody off flights. Yep, there we go. Oof, Flying yeah. to other cities. Camera lights, you got to get the angles. The it's networking, a yeah. Networking it's a lot. I, re- I definitely respect it. It's the same as stripping. Like, I'm from Florida, Miami, Florida, to be exact. So I come from the home of some of the best strip clubs. And we have an extreme respect for the naked hustle. And I feel like that's a form of sex work. And I, I respect because there's so much. Sure. Yeah, there's so much work that goes into keeping up with your body and keeping up with your hygiene. And if you're a performer on the stage, learning how to do all those things. The same right. with you. Like, I'm sure there's some things 
that you know how to do that other people don't know. And those are secrets and tips that you have for yourself, right? Same and, you know, different levels and yeah. different lanes yeah. in that industry. So much respect to that. Is it something I could personally do? No, I don't feel like I have the gusto to do that and to put myself out there in that way. But I do respect the lifestyle. Totally. I'm 27. 27. And, yeah. Um, why not? Like, you, you be scared? Like, even, I would like, be what scared. happens if you get a phone call or text message right out? They're like, oh, a picture of, like, just leaked of you. You'll feel like. I'd be like, oh, which picture? <laughs> <laughs> because there's certain pictures I, I mean baby i don't mind there's been people who have asked me based off of certain you know body parts that they particularly enjoy they've mm -hmm. asked me if like hey would you be open to starting only pants page and this this actually started during 2020 as well okay and so there's been a couple times where i've really thought about it i'm like you know what let me make a quick little i made a couple little bucks on the size and a little pick or two Okay, but that's not that's not exactly that's, that's nothing. nothing. That's so nothing. I'm like, okay, I can do that. But I feel like just because of I'm like, you know, I'm trying to build myself into something, and blah blah blah. And I don't ever want anybody to look back and know what my titties no, 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 look I like. It, I, I want people it. to be able to have a mystery behind that. Like, it, you know, it. yeah. But on the other end of the spectrum, I went to college actually with somebody who's like really big in the sex industry. Do you know who Minnie Stallion is? She's I think she's like 4'10 or 4'11. I don't, I don't really I don't even, um, watch a few of the females. Okay. I don't really watch You're not really into girls. Okay. Got you. But so I've been around, you know, different lifestyles like that for a while. And I've seen how people just And how do you feel judge about it. the girls? I think the girl. Okay. So. Requested, opened, right. Listen, that takes a lot of gusto. Everybody has a story. There's a reason this person is doing it, whether it's what makes them happy or if it's really how they feel like it's the best grind for mm -hmm. them. I'm. I respect that. You never know what somebody's story is until you sit down, you talk to that person, you get to know who they are. You, you know, you have to really understand who that person is before you judge them. Do yeah. not judge a book by its cover. And I feel like the older I get, the more I yeah. learn that that you just never know. Lamarck's Corner, where I answer all the questions you guys send me, advice, shade, all that good stuff. Yeah. Cool. All right, welcome to the Marks Corner season two. Oh, that sounds so cute. So the question number one is your biggest sexual fantasy. Mm -hmm. Oh, me? Mm -hmm. um, before I stop doing what I do, I really want to do, uh, what's it called? Like, what's it called? It starts with a B. Bondage? Yeah. No, like, like the guys just line up around you, Buka. Ah. Oh, Bukaki. You talking yeah. about the Japanese style? Is it you talk, is it bondage? No, no, it's like, like they like they like yeah yeah yeah. It's, it's like yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Shit like that. Yeah. That's that's what Chelsea. I, <laughs> I feel like okay. So my previous sexual fantasy was sex on the balcony, but I achieved that. I'm gonna say it. congratulations. You Thank you so much. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what my new one is. I really I haven't sat and thought about it. I've also been a, it's a little bit of a dry season for me, so I haven't been thinking about that. I've been in grind mode, but. Y'all should try the balcony, you know, mix that with the little. I did that Puerto Rico, it was lit. Yeah, like, I did it in Mexico. Breeze, it was breeze, amazing. The oh. breeze, everything. That's shit. We're not gonna talk about him though, because he's not worthy of airtime. <laughs> I mean, I have I don't I don't I don't know if I have one, honestly. Like before I had one, like a whole like a threesome, whatever that mm -hmm. like that, but I did it. It was all right. So okay. I don't know. I feel like these niggas just ain't shit. So I like, I don't really like, you know, maybe with a girl. Maybe with a girl. I mean, you did you did say you'd always yeah, maybe I'll try. Think about possibly getting yeah. try. I'll let you guys know how the end of the season goes. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. So I love this show and was wondering why you only mainly have guests that are gay. Ooh, I feel clocked. That's a question for you. Uh, but I'm I'm for everybody, honestly. Just just don't like be like, hey, I want to be on the show, and then like don't have anything to bring to the show. Like, it doesn't right. make sense. So I don't like, get that. Do do? Who are you? Right. Like, I just want to, you know, come on the show. But why do you want to come on the show? Like, what do you bring? Like, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is not just no play, play, ha, ha, ha. Like, we're not doing that. That's like me coming to your job. Like, let me, let's, let's play. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, <laughs> I don't get that. And I hate when people hit me up with that kind of mentality saying, like, I want to be on the show and I ask, well, why? And they get offended. Like, well. What do you mean, why? It, like, but you, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't make sense. What do you do? Exactly. So are you? Um, I appreciate you for giving me this opportunity, though. No, I mean, I appreciate it. Like, yeah, I mean, no, of course. But I just feel like sometimes, like, I'm I'm all for helping out the next person, but you have to, like, kind of want to help yourself as well. Mm -hmm. 
and don't get offended if I'm saying why. Like that's not like I've gotten to situations where like why you gotta ask me why you hit me up on like my platform. Like, <sighs> anyway, so we're open for any guests. So that person was shady. Um, next question. I sometimes feel like the gay community can be very mean, girl. Do you feel the same? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Switches like to be clicks and. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. It's very shitty. Very fucking shitty. Um, uh, next question. My girlfriend has a friend that I slept with in the past. I didn't know until I was at my girlfriend's birthday dinner and saw all her friends. Should I say something to my girl or talk to her friend about it first? Tell your girl. Get your side of the story out there first. <sighs> so, like, there could be... I mean, I think it's better off being transparent because eventually the truth is going to come to the light and you'd rather your girl know. Right. And if your girl is really your girl and she's mature enough and she's really rocking for you, she's mm-hmm. going to understand that that was the past. And if that's her girl for real, there should be no problems. There should be no boundaries crossed. I, that's I, grown woman shit. I feel that, but I don't, I, I would feel a way because like, ugh, I don't I like people that my friends way, been with. But that is very true. But who are you with right now? Yeah. And, and this was, you know, obviously what you had going on was not good enough to withstand until now. And here I am. <laughs> I'm 50 50. Like, I, I, will, I will want the truth, but then I also feel like, now what do I do with this now? It would make me fuck my nigga harder. I'm sorry. <laughs> <To freedom! laughs> because <laughs> why am I worried about the next bitch for what? That was the past. I feel like we've all, if you look at the web of people, we are all connected sexually somehow. Somebody that you done fuck somewhere, don't fuck somebody that you know that fuck somebody that you know that fuck the same person as you or something, you know? Mm -hmm. So as human beings, like it can get messy, but I feel like that's a situation that you can handle maturely. If everyone's like being grown adults, I feel like. Yeah, but if. That's for what? It's my, it's, it's, and it was her birthday party that he's Mm -hmm. okay, it's my birthday. Guess who's going home to fuck me? My nigga. (laughs) Not Ooh. sure. That's it. AJ? I don't even know what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, everything she said, I hear everything she said. I like her. You didn't keep her. Uh, last <laughs> question. Do you think it's childish to get offended if someone only says hi to your significant other and not you? Yes, because yeah. I'm standing right here. I think that's very fucking childish. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck? I mean, no, it's not childish to get offended. It is fucking, that's offensive. Yeah. I hate when someone does that and like you're, you know, speaking a different, even in a friend group, like why say hi to one friend and then everybody else is just sitting there? Absolutely. I've had that happen to me before too. And I would definitely look at you like, hi. Right. I'm the one who will say hi to you just in case you did something like that. And then if you, you know, walk off or do whatever, then I know how to handle you next time. I feel like we had a similar situation at my house, remember? And it, it happened with me. Yeah, remember at the uh, the mental health type of rec-, rec together, and was a whole thing about the Armani concert. We didn't. You remember? Uh, oh. Okay, we can't say the names. We cannot. We? Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, look at that. Look at me vaguely remembering. I like names. It's just. I like names too. If I'm not doing this every week. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't be messy, but I'm gonna be messy. You could be messy because you you're only like, this is your week. So, I mean. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay. So, this is questions I have for every guest. And um, the freakiest thing you've ever done. Um, so, I got to think hard about this. Take I your time. Shit. Um, oh, wow. I can't feel that. Mm. Um, mm. <laughs> The freakiest thing I've ever done. I don't know. Like, to be honest, actually, let me stop capping. Like, I'm I'm really freaky, but I'm not that freaky. Like, you know, I got standards. I got all that. Like, I say the freaky shit I've done is probably just like, like have sex on the roof or some shit. Like, that's mad boring. What okay. about you? Yeah, what about you? The freakiest thing I've done. Because you spicy. I am spicy. Mm. Like I said, I mean, there's just... Okay, so in Mexico, I talked about the jacuzzi thing already, right? Yeah. This is one of the best experiences. Yeah, ooh. But not submerged in the jacuzzi. You like water tipping in the jacuzzi. Like, your nigga is up here. 
Um, so it was like this beautiful patio setting. There was an outdoor jacuzzi, and we were just, you know, having a great time in the jacuzzi, not caring if anybody walked by. Like you could literally care, look up. Like, nah, we, nah, 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 yeah, nah, nah, we nah. didn't care. And I'm pretty sure the next door neighbors heard us and saw us, but like yeah. enjoyed the show. It was like that. It was like that. We was off of that Don Julio. It was But you see, I feel like that's not that freaky though. That's not that mm. I mean, I feel like everybody has a freaky different number. Like, freaky yeah. is when I post a video of me getting nothing on, like, 10 guys in a circle. That's Ooh, cool. okay. Yeah, 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 well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, so, I definitely had sex at a stranger's house before. That was nice. But that's not really that freaky. How did that go? It was really fun. It was really spontaneous. This is the same guy who grabbed my phone and, like, recorded him. But, like, you were at a party and just kind of happened? We were at a party. I had to use the bathroom. And I was, <laughs> he was like... And he just walked in right after. He was, he was like, all right, come on, let's go. So I'm like, all right, cool. So we go upstairs. Mind you, he knows these people, but I don't know these people. Right. Like, I don't think he knew all the people. He knew, like, one or two people there. And we go upstairs. I go in the bathroom. He's there. And I'm like, okay, so you're going to watch me pee? He was like, mm, yeah, something like that, whatever. So he was... <laughs> Actually, he didn't even wait for me to finish. But the story stops there. Subscribe, like I'm just. <laughs> yeah, no, no fact. That, that, that's a fucking fact. No, honestly, honestly, go to our Patreon. No, we don't Don't have a Patreon. Yeah, Yeah. that that was really fun. That was very spontaneous. It was was Fourth of July too. Subscribe to my page. You'll see whatever you want to see. You'll see my dick. You'll see me topping, fucking these female Mm. guys. I love the other guys. Like. I feel like gay guys, they run their mouth too much. Like, I, I can't have, I can't fuck with somebody mm-hmm. and then you gon' you you a part of the community and you're going to talk a lot. I'd rather just fuck with, yeah. So that's- <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like it brings a certain power as well, knowing that you are low-key turning somebody out? Who, like, so have look, you had, like, the first I'm gonna timer? Exclusive. Yes, last come on. Last night, bro. Last night. Last night, I went to a straight... I went to Hush. Hush is like a gay bar. Downtown. I heard of that. I went to Hush and it was just too much. So I'm like, nah, I don't want to be here. So I went to Dykeman and Dykeman is downtown. Um, I went to Dykeman and matter of fact, I shouldn't be saying this, but I'm going to still say it though. Run it. Pour my cup. <laughs> <laughs> um, the guy, some guy, some trade just came up to me. He was like, he gave me a handshake. And I'm like, I was like, wait, that's this boy. I was like, I've been wanting to see him. So mm-hmm. you, I, so I got him on Snapchat. So he's like, oh, let me know. I'm trying to dip on my bros. So I took him home. So then he started sucking my dick. I didn't know he, I didn't know he do that. Ooh. He started sucking my dick. It was a lot. It went crazy. It was a lot. It was up. And that's why I feel so good today, y'all. Because mm. of him. Rejuvenation. <laughs> Hello. I couldn't find that applause quick. I couldn't find that applause clip quick enough. But to freedom. <laughs> to freedom. To freedom. I couldn't find that quick enough either. It's so many buttons. Like, please don't. I, like, I need an intern. It's a lot happening we over can here. Add it in the edit. We can. To <laughs> it's a lot. It's a fucking lot. But okay? I, yeah, I would like to say that there's a difference though between DL guys and the gay community. Like the, com- the gay community, they talk too much, and I just hate it. But I do. Shout out to the ones who. We did something, and y'all didn't run your mouth. My thing with That's DL guys is just that they always have somebody, and I don't want to be a in a mess. mess. Right? Like, mm-hmm. Don't chat about it. Mm-hmm. We could keep doing it if you don't run your mouth. You run your mouth, it's like, oh, yeah, I, EJ, I had EJ. Like, why are you running your mouth? Mm-hmm. Shit is whack. I don't know. It's fun to have secrets, especially, I don't know. The older I get, the more I just value my privacy, just being low-key, ducked off. Nobody knows who you fucking with. And even if they think they do, they're probably wrong, or it's probably just number three on the list of whatever you got going on, you know? I'm just not with the cheating shit. Like, don't put yeah, me in no situation don't, don't cheat, that don't I don't need to cheat. be in. Don't but, cheat. And shout out to the hoes that be trying to collab with everybody I collab with, mm-hmm. follow everybody I follow. Mm-hmm. Shit is weird. Who? Who? <laughs> fuck y'all hoes, actually. Fuck y'all hoes. Oh. That's what I want to say. I don't know. That's right. Got to choke on a dick and die. Ooh. Ooh. Talking about choking okay. on okay. Any names? I don't choke on a dick, so. We know. I'm good. We know. Rejuvenation. Chelsea, I think it's time for your clip. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's time for your segment. Oh, oh shit. Okay. All right, guys. Are we going to edit this part? Because I need yeah. to pull it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I need like a I need to create an intro yeah. for this segment for sure. You got time. All right. Um, Malcolm, you could sit. I don't know if this is this a chair there. Correct. I 
how you doing? I saw you come in. I just didn't want to break. I didn't want to break. I forgot they was there. I was talking about shit. No, because that ass, like, there's a lot, but I'm just going to keep it chill. I really want to snack some of these. All right. So it is time for what the fuck happened this week with Chelsea Nate. All right. So in this segment, it's fairly new since I'm new to Lamarck after dark. This is just a segment where oh, thank you so much. No problem. We're just gonna discuss anything interesting, informative, empowering, fucked up, or yummy about what's going on in the world around us this week. Okay. So for right now, let's talk about it. On Tuesday, what happened? Mr. 45, he was indicted. Oh, oh my God. He saw himself turning himself in. Okay, on 34 counts of different felonies for different ways that he mishandled money, up. taxes, <laughs> paying off Stormy Daniels. Okay, all of this, Instead and we speech. still didn't get a mugshot. How about what the fact that he was able to do a speech he was after able all to do this? Speech. He, he flew, violated too. He, he violated flew back to Florida. Florida and popped his shit. I don't even get a t-shirt. This isn't right. That's all I wanted from this experience. Yeah, I think it's just a oh, mess. I wanted to buy like yeah, mug shot I wanted to buy the mug shot. That's all I wanted. Like, I don't, crazy. I don't understand. A lot of people is about to make money. Off America's a mess right America, now. America, America has problems. Okay, be off. Also, the world, the world <laughs> as a whole, the, even the energy outside just sometimes just be so. Ugh, but I digress. We're above. We're yeah, above yeah. it. All right. So also, let's talk about it. Our girl Chloe Bailey, she dropped her album. She finally dropped it. So me and her are friends now. You are. We're friends. You are. Um, I want you to talk about that. Yeah. So we had, I was able to meet her today and it was a really good experience. Like we talked about men. She's in New York? Yeah. She talked about cancer, like us being both cancers. And um, she was just very supportive and really giving me encouraging words that I'm probably not going to share to y'all because, you know, yeah, like this between us. Yeah, keep it to myself. Yeah. But she's a really so. cool person and I really feel like I really want her to win. So. What's your favorite track? My favorite track is Worried. So my, worried was cool. I like. I'm not even happy. They said worried was cool. I, I like cheat that. that. I was feeling, and I like um, what's it called? Body do. I thought that was a definitely a different vibe for her. Mm -hmm. It was something I wasn't expecting, but I know she loves Khalees, so I was definitely expecting something to be upbeat. So it was cute that she did that. But I have to be honest. I love Chloe Bailey. I've invested the time to go see her live. She's an amazing performer. She's mm -hmm. eloquent. She's beautiful. She's creative. She's talented. I like her personality. I love her personality. She's she great, but this album didn't fully do it for me, and I'm not gonna lie about it. A lot of people on Twitter, a lot of people are saying that. I'm not gonna sit here and lie about it. I'm gonna keep it real. I love her, and I want to see her pop off. I want to see like, her continue to be successful. Yeah, but it wasn't for me. But I feel like you can never fully satisfy everybody. Satisfy everybody. Absolutely, and there's definitely you know all the Chloe Bailey fans out there that are like no, this did it for me, but. I've been rocking with Chloe for a while. Like I used to watch her and Hallie on YouTube. And I think uh, people that were rocking oh. with her for a while aren't the ones that like the album. Yeah. So I think that's what it is. Maybe you know? that's it. I, I, I've been seeing that a lot. Like people that just messing with her really like the album. album. Just, the album just came out. You gotta let it digest. Mm -hmm. You gotta like vibe but, with it. You gotta go in the car with it. You gotta go in the bathroom with it. You gotta do all that with it. You, you can't just it just, it. it just drop. Mm -hmm. It just drop. I do understand what you're saying though. I mean, my favorite track is "Make It Look Easy" only because of the shit that I've been through personally, and I okay. feel like that can kind of relate. But um, I can understand where you're coming from. Yeah. I do feel like I would give it a, a strong seven. You know what I'm saying? But I do. That's nice of you. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you. Like, what did you expect? Like, what would you have wanted? So I love that she gave us some ballads. I just, it was fun. I knew she was going to make it fun. It's her first album, but I just wanted more cohesiveness. I felt like the album didn't give me the story that she she wanted to tell with that cover art that she provided us with i understood it was about heartbreak i get it but it wasn't cohesive for me it just yeah. is not a project i can play straight through it's not something that i'm like oh let me go play this song this is how i'm feeling yeah i wouldn't tap into that but do i love her do i think this is a great start and i'm looking for her growth absolutely absolutely i, I mean that's your opinion honestly absolutely. you know we all have opinions yeah. so I, I i definitely understand where you're coming from and i think that um again i give it a seven but i don't give it a nine you know what i'm saying i haven't heard a nine album in a minute oh i have I have Chris Brown's album. Okay. Uh, do okay. That. That's do that. fair. Yeah. That's fair. Chris Brown's album. That was a good. Ooh, 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 the congregation. Ooh, <laughs> the congregation <laughs> said absolutely not. Fire. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Chris Brown should have won that Grammy. Who they gave it to? Fuck, I forgot. Who they they gave it to. Um, it should have went to Mary or Chris. Mary J or Chris. I'm not going to on the Mary J. I know oh. I'm in New York, so I'm not going to do it. I don't really. I don't want to get beat up. I don't think. You know what? Can I tell you a secret? 
Go ahead. I don't really gave, care for Mary. They should have gave Nikki that Grammy too for Super Freaky Girl. So, That's the only song that went number one. Do you want to get into <laughs> how Nikki has been blackballed from the Grammys? One. Or we did do that though. That's not that's not new. That's old. It is. I just. It's. It's. It is sad to see Cardi win before Nikki was a little. Yeah, Nikki. Sad. Nikki. Nikki just happened. Cardi's not really, really with it though. But yeah. I met the Grammy back in the day. What the year Grammys was that? Grammys don't mean nothing to me no more. Back in the day. When When did she win her Grammy? Cardi. Cardi? 20, Whenever her album I think came 2019? out. Like probably, probably 2019. Okay. Yeah. That was a great album though. Her first album. Yeah, I think the album was cool. Her first album. Her first album was cute. Yeah. <laughs> but. Next case. <laughs> Next case. <laughs> Next case. Next okay, case. so let's get into it. So, right. y'all, we all by now have got our Beyonce tickets for our uh-huh. various city. Whoa, why not? What's going on? How much is it? Oof. It depends on the city. It depends on the state. I like. I like to be front row. How much? So Lamar's going to the New Jersey show. He could tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, let's I'm just say go Drake. Y'all got your Drake. I, that's what I was about to say. Why the Drake hell is a Drake ticket more expensive than a Beyonce ticket? I agree. I don't get it. It's a problem. I get it. America has a problem. And that is high on the list. I don't what get it. I don't get it. What songs I want Beyonce to do? Every, I want her to do the whole Renaissance album. Do the whole, yeah. That's oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I never saw Beyonce live. And I feel like uh, I need to see this one yeah. live. This album is crazy. Yeah. I love this album. I love um, Heated. I love it. I just love mm. it. She's rad. She's being rational on mm-hmm. the song. She's. More freely, I the want to see a lot. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be something. It's gonna be an experience. It's gonna be an experience. This Especially, will be my fourth Beyonce concert, and I'm four. Oh, I'm finished. three. Okay. Yes, we're on four, baby. So Her she favorite gives you number. Your money to work. She, baby. absolutely favorite baby. concert I've been to, hands yes. down. Yeah. No yeah. doubt about it. Yeah, so you might want to refund those Drake tickets, mm. resell them. <laughs> but what? No, I mean, if Drake is his judge, you know what I'm saying? Like, Drake, true. Drake, Drake is in your bag. Drake yeah. Is gonna, Drake is gonna give you your money too. That's true, because Anna's is for 21. Because a so. lot of rappers just stand there. But Drake, he, he'll bounce around. He'll gravitate to the crowd, mm-hmm. interact, like you know? And it's really... So uh, you got you Drake floor seats? I sure did. How much did that run It's general though? admission. I paid mm-hmm. 500 but them shits is going for like 1000 now. Oh, my God. My stomach just started How much started you pay hurting. for Beyonce? <laughs> <laughs> How much you pay for Beyonce? A hundred less than what you paid for Drake. You're lying. You paid four hundred for Beyonce. After taxes, it was it was near four hundred. Yes. Where, where are you sitting? We are literally right above the floor, like the oh the side. I yeah. love the side. I love right the side. above the floor because so. the floor seats is like seats. Yeah. So once the people stand up, exactly. Bad. There's n- nothing. We have seats that we can actually be Just in. Sit, chill. Watch. We get to see her okay, glisten. I don't get to see her sweat up close, but I get to see the glisten, and I'm okay with that. That's not bad though. Yeah. Every year we so go. So could down. I get? Could I get the same tickets right now? No? So right now you're probably gonna pay a little more, but she. They might I'm be sold telling, out. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It's not sold out. It's not. I thought it was. I think that you can still get tickets, like you know, vivid seats. Uh, vivid seats really be like, they be they like do, really upcharging. They do upcharge, but yeah. it's worth the experience, especially over Drake. Now, I never seen Drake, but I've never seen Drake either. I'm just saying. You love Drake. I do love Drake. Drake is a Drake is legend. I'm not gonna sit here and never... I wouldn't say love for me, but you know, but that's just but that's just me. That's just okay, me. Okay. You know, like love is a strong word. Okay. Well, I would say I love him. I think Drake is timeless. I think Drake is a legend. One of the best. One of the best for sure. He's one that I haven't seen. And I've, you know, been blessed enough to see a lot of my favorite artists live because that's one of my favorite things mm-hmm. to do. But I'm just not paying those prices for him. I'm not doing it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? No. Like, but I get it though. Like, I don't. Inflation. <laughs> no I can't afford eggs. Do you want me to pay how much for Drake? But that's you. Like, look, so look, the more, the more. The more years he puts in, mm. the last one he did, I forgot. It's probably like four years ago, three years ago. Mm-hmm. You know, your the price yesterday's price is not today's price. You're right. You're right. You're but right. she's still not paying. And it's Twenty One Savage on it. Do you like Twenty One? I do like Twenty One, and I got to see him live. He was a little boring, but I, I'm still <laughs> vibing because I'm out here with my pretend. Yo, I, I went to Future's concert and I missed Twenty One. I was so mad. Uh, I pulled up and he started performing. On Mr. Right Now. Okay. Yeah, that and was a bomb. It was cute. It was cute. And I'm Mr. Right Now. And I'm the best one. He gave me vibes that he got a long. Thick? Yeah. He might. I mean, nice mm-hmm. it I might be a little skinny, though. I feel like I yeah. Who? I love Who's your ce- If you had to pick a celebrity crush, who would it be? Davies. Ooh. Yeah, he. That, that's, it's giving thick dick. 
it is. It's just I'm, giving like yo, giving your it. face alone. Like I just want to look up at it. Ooh. Yeah. That's actually a really romantic I used thing to, to I say. Used to, I used to think that about Drake, but Drake, the way he be treating bitches, like y'all don't really know. Like he's really like a fuck boy. Oh, I can tell. We he's know. Really we know. And the way he cries about it and makes every album. He don't violent. cry about it. He be violent bitches. He be violent. What was take care? Take care. But that was how long ago was that? You're right. I just want to say he be violent. Um, bitches. Malcolm is here, and I just want to give a wink because he knows. And if you know, you know. Oh. <laughs> I need to know after this. <laughs> um, you know that. I, is that? Are we? Um, I'm yeah. Is there more questions? No, that was it. Oh, that was. I just have to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, and that was it for my segment as well. So thank you guys for joining. For what the fuck is going on? What this the fuck week? is going on? This <laughs> week? What the fuck is going on? All right, EJ. I'm gonna open up the floor to you. If you have any questions for us, you want to say before we, you know, end this. Um. You, I want to ask you a question because I feel like nobody asks you questions. Mm. Like, that's not right. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Um, let me see your face. I'm trying to look into your eyes. Oh, oh, his uh, eyes are pretty too. They're light brown. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah, um, I, bing bong. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not gonna go like I'm gonna go what you do. Okay, how long did you been doing this? How long have you been doing what you do? I mean, I feel like I've been doing this since 2014, but if I'm taking out college, then 2018. And you love what you do? <sighs> do I love what I do? Um, You got to love what you do. It goes deep. I, I mean, I feel like I love bringing content. I love that we we'll be able to like, you know, have you on here and have your people see something like other than the only fans, you know what I'm saying? Like humanize you. And I feel like I'm I love having people on and kind of interviewing and just getting their perspective. Mm. It's crazy because like outside of this, like I don't like people. So I kind of just like to stay in my own, like you know, bubble. Like, right. I'm really anti-social. Same. I I'd rather stay by myself. Right. Like, I don't need nobody. You feel me? Like Same. and so that's this, just how I am. This gives me like a platform to like kind of like get out of my shell and kind of just step into that. So it's cool. Um, so you said you talked okay, look, so you said you saw to Chloe, right? Uh-huh. Do you ever like tell celebrities to be like, yo, come to my show, bro? Like, um, yes and no, but sometimes it's a conflict of interest because of management, and sometimes they will say they're coming and they just don't. Um, yeah, it's a list, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it's so you know, ways. it's a lot of reasons, and then on top of that, a lot of high paid celebrities have I got a question. I think um, do y'all like Tink? I love Tink. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Tink. Then she just released I a new like project. Really good. Um, yeah, she did. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go see her in two weeks. I bought Mini Great. I'm finally mm, gonna meet her. Cute. Um, she mailed me before, like she wrote me a um, uh, letter, mm -hmm. and she's like, "You're one of my favorites. You always show love." And I'm like, "Wow, like that's dope, that's crazy." So when I'm finally yeah, meeting her, she's underrated for sure. She's underrated. She's been doing this for mad years mm -hmm. since she was a fucking teenager. Yeah, I think it's fire. Yeah, Timbaland really tried to push her music oh, too. I'm not gonna say fuck Timbaland, but he really. Maybe he tried to do the whole thing Aaliyah thing. I don't know what. Yeah, it was yeah, not with that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. She's once once he said she was gonna be the next Aaliyah, it went. Yeah. It we went can't. Bad. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, compare. it's still fire. My bitch still fire though. She she drops albums every year though. Even regardless of y'all listen to it or not, she still be providing her real fans. Yeah. It's so amazing. Mm -hmm. it's amazing. I feel like she has a similar following to like Tanache mm -hmm. and the girlies that are like more underrated. Tanache, she's really good. Mm -hmm. She can I love her. I love Tanache too, but nah, Tink. I like <laughs> So I met Tanache. I told people I would like, this was like back in 2018. And I was like, I'm going to tell people to buy the album. And they just wasn't fucking with the album. Wow. Was which that was it? What was it? It, it might have been Aquarius. Okay. It might have been. Whatever 2018 was around that era. It, it had to be Aquarius. Yeah. I think that was the last album. But she's put out EPs, right? <laughs> I mean, I like Tanache. I like Tanache. Please, if you ever yeah. watch this someday, <laughs> please, please like, don't, girl, like don't. I rock with you. Yeah, okay? yeah, I rock with you too. Okay, wait, because y'all trying. She dropped the uh, album called Three D Three. Oh, okay. Oh. And you know, bouncing, 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 bouncing. You don't know bouncing? I don't. I don't. Oh. Is it a TikTok song? No, no. Let me not. Let me not. Let me not. not Cardi. We're not talking about Cardi. But, um, and on that note. <laughs> Chelsea, any other last remarks? I, I like when I could like my friend. He didn't like Tanache at first. Mm -hmm. He didn't like Tanache. I'm like, yo, let's. I bought tickets. I said, I'm buy you a ticket. We went to her show. He, he loved was a it. Fan. He was sold. He was sold. 
Now he'd be on her dick twenty four seven. She's a pretty fine. girl. She could really dance. I yeah, love her for real. Yeah. I do. But on that note, EJ, thank you so much for coming to the Mark After Dark. We appreciate it. It was amazing talking. Let the people know where to follow you at, all that good stuff, all your social media handles. Uh, EJ on Demon Time. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's about it. Is that on every platform? On every platform? No, not on every platform. Okay. My Instagram, my Instagram just got suspended because oh. these fucking fake assholes. Mm. Okay. Mm. Somebody reported you? Probably. Okay. You know how it goes. Got I it. got my shit suspended like mad times, but um, EJ on Demon Time for real. Subscribe to my only fans, see me going crazy. Literally, that. but I appreciate Impressive. you for giving me no problem. And thank you for stopping by. And thank Chelsea. This is be coming all the way down here. I'm for the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> you know when they leave, they burrow. It's serious. <laughs> yeah, like I told him, like y'all, I'm gonna be there like seven thirty. It was like fucking 50 minutes. But I was like, <laughs> once I tell you, I'm going to pull up. So I had to pull up. No, we but appreciate you you. Time. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's fire. I was really she excited is. to meet you. When he told me, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. I need to, he I need to look me, at the he, he said, oh, yes. Yeah, I got a girl uh, co-host now, and she be watching the shit. I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> you, know, you know I had to go slide through. Did you? Yes, absolutely. What do you think? I think it's impressive. I think me and you have a lot in common. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like I'm talking to somebody who really understands me because it's important. Yeah. What you do is important and you, you are important. Oh, it should just go. But you said that um you don't you couldn't do it though. Like as a profession, no. I can't see myself do it. Not even as a profession, but could you do it? In general? Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, listen, outside of here, let's chat. Listen. All right, on that um, note, <laughs> guys, thank you. We'll see you next week. It's been great. I love Subscribe, it. Subscribe, like, comment, all that. Follow my boy. Follow her. Follow me. Period. I suck I did. Mm. Chelsea. From the back. From the back. From the back. <laughs>